John, I'm live again back out here at Memorial Stadium. I'm joined now by Adam Amin, who will be calling the game on ABC. Adam, thanks so much for taking the time to chat with us. Uh, this is awesome. I'm glad you guys picked the warm spot of the uh, of the stadium on the uh, uh, exterior to actually talk about this. This is nice. This is, uh, I consider it a favor more than anything else. You're from outside Chicago. This, You're used to the nothing. cold. This is nothing, and I spent a lot of time in Iowa and Nebraska in my days. I started my career in Iowa, so this is all old hand, really, at this point. Up in the Great Lakes, of right? Of course, yeah. Oh, hello, Okaboji. Congratulations, Spirit Lake, on your victory in the uh, 2A state title game. Look at you. Dropping knowledge, no, just, I'm Adam. here to drop, drop knowledge. Thanks for feeding me that, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Adam, let's talk a little bit about this game. We'll start with the Hawkeyes. A lot of people outside the program are, are a little hesitant to say that they are the real deal. They're up to four in the rankings. What do you think about the Hawkeyes? I've had them a couple of times within the last year, within the last 12 months or so. I saw them a, a handful of times last year, and there was a, something missing, you could tell. Play calling wasn't as sharp. Obviously, there's a quarterback change over the course of the offseason to now. But... All that being said, it feels like the turnaround has been so impressive that maybe people look at the team last year that got shellacked by Tennessee in a bowl game and are somehow translating that into 2015. And it's difficult sometimes to, in this college football playoff era that we're living in now, it's sometimes difficult to try to live in the vacuum of just now. You don't want to necessarily let previous, uh, previous years and results translate and affect how you perceive teams the next season. The problem is we were so trained in the AP poll era to look at last year and how it translates to the preseason poll and how you're supposed to slot up and slot down instead of looking at a full body of work. And I think if people took a step back that are outside of the Iowa program and looked at the entire body of work that this team has put together from start to finish, I think they would realize that they're as good of a team as there is in the country. I'm not saying that they're better than an Oklahoma or better than a Michigan State or better than an Alabama or anything like that, but to be considered up there with the schedule that you're given and the results that you've put together an undefeated season is what it is and you have to at least acknowledge that this team has done what they're supposed to do to try to put themselves in position to be a potential playoff team we look at the other side of things nebraska has had a much rougher go of things under first year head coach mike riley five and six but a lot of really tight, last-minute heartbreak losses. Are they a better team than that 5-6 and six shows? I think the win over Michigan State shows it. I understand that that was a win with a very controversial call that went Nebraska's way. But when you think about all the bumps and bruises and bounces that didn't go their way over the course of the first 10 games, you understand that this team was in position to beat Illinois. They're in position to beat BYU. They're in position to beat Wisconsin. They're in position to beat Miami in a, an incredible comeback to begin with. So they showed resiliency early in the year. Let's not forget, they've had 41 different starters between the two sides of the ball they have been ravaged by injury all year long so all of that being said you get a win against Michigan State you look solid on the road against Rutgers now you have a bye week to get a little healthier and obviously prepare for what Iowa's going to do this is a very dangerous game for Iowa and I think Nebraska is a much better team than people realize tight game today I would expect so I mean uh, the folks out west certainly think so uh, just based on weather conditions with how similar these two teams are I feel a tight game I hope it's a tight game just for our sake just so we have some entertainment and uh, and everybody at home may not appreciate that but I'm hoping for a tight game Adam thank you so much no for problem, taking guys. the time really appreciate it be sure to tune in at 2:30 on ABC here Adam I mean on the call uh, John, let's throw it back over to you for now.